Hey everyone, it's been a long time, long time, it's been a minute, uh, a long minute, it's been well over a month since ow, I've posted, um, I don't even know where to begin, to be honest, um, the last time I left you guys, I think it was liver and my kidney issues and my GI issues, I've, um, and then I ended up getting injured, in my spinal column, my neck, and my lower back where there's a lot of damage. Um, so I've been doing therapy for my neck. They can't, um, I can't do chiropractic. I can't have them pop it at all because there's so much damage. Um, any chance of it popping or them popping it or um, adjusting it, realigning it could cause more damage than I already have. Hence, we've already tried, so that's how I know, we know, um, she's, she's a wonderful, um, she's a chiropractor and a massage therapist, and she's also, um, does manipulations, and, um, what else does she do there, I forgot, um, uh, uh, therapy, to get somewhat, you balanced back, um, cause my, where my fusion is in my neck, above it and below it, got damaged I did stupid about two months ago hands above my hand so I mean I could still put my hands up well that's about as far as that one's gonna go but it starts pulling like somebody has got a rope or rubber bands and it's stretching it and pulling it out um so therapy on that to get and I was on tons of inflammation nothing um doctor was just herbal and inf inflammation ibuprofen aleve things to, hot packs, ice packs, um, neck brace, not the hard plastic one like you get when you come out of surgery, but it was a soft one, um, I finally got to get that off, I think about two weeks ago, and now I just have a, um, it's a massage, it's like a neck brace, but it's for your neck, and it slides in, in, into a circle, and it just braces your neck when you're leaning somewhere, or leaning up against the couch, laying in the bed, so I, I've, finally use that um i know not to look up too much look down too much hands above my head because that's how i did my damage i had did stupid put my hand held on to something hands above my head and went like this and i knew it did damage and i just kept on doing it and doing it and i finally went and so i'm still doing uh physical therapy to try and not correct it because we cannot correct it um because there's just so much damage here and then on my lower back, I already knew that was bad. Um, don't wear my back brace and all that stuff. Um, I do wear my back brace now when um, long trips, like if we're going to my parents or somewhere and we're riding around, I'm wearing a back brace. Um, if I'm outside, it's a back brace, which right now I'm not liking going outside because I went a couple of days ago outside and I am severely burnt on my backside. And I popped out with horrible little itty bitty blisters, seed blisters. So I had to deal, and I can feel them, they're horrible. I mean, literally water blisters. So I didn't put sunblock on and didn't think about it, but made for a couple nights of miserable burn. But pass that up. Um, let's see here, what else, what else? trying to think of everything that's been going on as far as my liver and my kidneys i am having to take more milk thistle cranberry um stuff t and a gi is three different pills and i take it i take four of them in the morning and then i take the night shift for um low to help with my kidneys and my um liver and my intestines so, I mean, that is working better. It's, I do still have to deal with the issue of the pain or the inflammation or the swelling of it. You could feel it. A lot of you guys know what I'm talking about when your liver or your kidney is just inflamed or irritated. You know what I'm talking about. So, let's see. I'm trying to think of everything that's, <coughs> excuse me, that's going on. Um, it's May, it's May, Lyme Awareness Month, um, I have no clue the day, 
I, I really don't. The only good thing I've done um, these, I think it's the past two weeks, um, I got the luxury of going from my winter hair color to my spring and summer hair color, which is my, it took 10 hours and two weeks, two visits, two weeks, 10 hours. Yeah, um, the second visit was the longest. Um, had to strip all the box color out of my hair, which was three and a half hours worth the first time, just so we could get me back to my normal hair color, which took three hours. Exhausting. But that was last week, and then this week, finally had all the, since we finally stripped all the hair color out, went, okay, now let's cover the gray, because trust me, I've got gray, <laughs> and um, let's give you some highlights that blend to your natural hair color, which my natural hair color is like a deep burgundy honey color. I got normal highlights of honey color, but then I got a, like a deep burgundy with red highlights. So we highlighted it. So that was a six hour, six hour sit down to <laughs> get all that done. So, um, but as far as this month, I've not really, I have no clue if I'm even doing a challenge. I've really, as if anybody watches this, you know, I've really not been on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. I have been really trying to do my physical therapy, my massage therapy, my neck therapy, my lower back therapy, trying to get <laughs> me in someone form so I can get out there, which this year the allergies are so horrible. My, my oak trees. God bless it, finally have grown their leaves. This is my maple you see right here. This is the big old maple tree I tap for maple syrup. But um, my oak trees, which is one, two, three, four, didn't have their, had baby leaves and had their long, I guess, flower thingies. I don't know what they are. They're about that long. They turn brown and they fly everywhere. And that stuff was blowing in the house and blowing everywhere. So... Thank, thank you, God. They finally grew their leaves, so I'm not dealing with that. That was a couple days ago. They finally grew their leaves and went bye-bye to all that. But the pollen is really bad this year. Um, so are the constant rains we're having. Like, it's sunshiny out right now, but over here, straight in front of me, it's dark. And we have those storms coming up from Texas and all that good stuff. Um, so we do have storms coming in. Um, got my... I, I got another pair of compression socks. Um, also got a new pair of compression. Well, the compression socks are just for your feet. And then I got a new pair of compression leggings, which I've not got yet. I'm actually, they should be here tomorrow. This is Friday. Tomorrow or Monday. So I'm not wearing those white, nasty looking color ones. I've got a normal color because now they come up with the colors, you know, that look like le they're actually compression leggings. You can wear them like store-bought leggings, but they have compression compartments on them to help with the compression, and I'm like, that's plus, um, let's see here, it has been about four months, my husband's motorcycle's been down, um, because of the oil tank, <laughs> finally got that dealt with, figured out, and now he has his motorcycle back running again, because I got real tired of hearing about the motorcycle, um, I'm just trying to think of everything that's been going on because I'm just so scatterbrained, <sighs> resting, relaxing. Um, yes, um, just trying to get back on all my medicines, trying to, because usually when I do my neck therapy, I'm right, right where that dip is, right back here on the back of your hand, like it is today, because I went, it's, it's very sore. And then right back here is very sore from the whole massaging and uh, and then I go so then I spend it just messes with my head when they massage me like yesterday meclizine t last night meclizine this morning meclizine and I don't mean a full pill I'm just taking a half one so I took a total of one and a half meclizines in the past 36 hours because my head has been wonky I had to take it today or this morning passed out on the couch which has become my best friend because 
recently um my bones my hip bones and my my thigh bones have really started playing what do you call the word let's raise the bar on the bone pain so I'm constantly dealing with that and I can't really lay on my back because I get too stiff and I can't lay on my right side because my right shoulder and my neck will crank up and then I'm like this for a day or two and if I lay on my left side it's just my thighs and my, my thigh bones and my hip bones are just non-stop constant pain um, especially when there's rain coming or it's chilly or it's raining at night <laughs> it's just but right now that's okay I just got out of a um, just finished soaking and all that good stuff I've not gotten my sauna since spring has started I really haven't I need to <laughs> I really do, but I have it. Um, I'm just trying to think. Uh, the only thing, let's see. I mean, I, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do something May Awareness, Lyme Awareness Month. I'm gonna try and do something. I just it's just one thing after another, and then I, I'm either trying to rest from having treatment or, or physical therapy. And then I'm down for a couple days. And then I'm going back for something else. So it's just a non-stop thing. Like this weekend, my niece has her ninth birthday, which is tomorrow. And then it's all day rainy, so it's all going to be in the house. <laughs> and then um, Sunday, it's all day rain. It's like, you know, and this is all we're seeing is rain, rain, rain. And it's, it's annoying. So, I mean, other than that, it's just... Trying to take care of me, trying to get back on my herbal regimen because I, I between sinus infection, sinus, just the whole allergy compartment up here, um, and constantly sucking on eucalyptus cough drops and everything, and I'm trying to get back on my herbal medicines, and then to all the therapy and everything like that is just it's it's nonstop. So it's been a while. It's been a long minute since I've posted, but I'm going to try and get back into it, um, I really am, I just, I've just been so busy with therapies and doing everything I can to get me back up to, because usually summer times, the heat makes me feel good, even though the sun does its horrible damage to me, um, and I haven't really been able to do what I want in summer, or spring, I mean, it's still spring, so I'm trying to get back from doing what I did stupid, which I've learned my lesson, so I can enjoy spring still, and then summer, minus all the storms, um, but I, let me know how what you guys are doing for your Lyme Awareness um, Challenge, because I honestly, I am so far behind, I have no clue, I'm behind on videos, I'm behind on everything, so I'm trying to catch up, but um, other than that, hopefully your, what is today? I think today's Friday. Yeah, that's an, he, uh, Leon's been working this whole month, seven days a week, <laughs> or he'll get off like five o'clock on a Thursday afternoon, turn around, have to go back on a Saturday, get off maybe at six o'clock, come back and so he's at a seven day a week right now the full month um of work no time off maybe they'll give him off a couple hours at a, um, a couple days a week a couple hours early uh, until they get a new crew in so um other than that <laughs> that's been exhausting I've, I've killed my first snake this year um i was walking out here to feed my dogs because they're right here down in the their fenced in area yard and walking around and it was a copperhead he's about three foot long half of him was inside their pen half of him was sunbathing on the outside of the pen and i mean scared the bejesus out of me so i have a gun i went you know a good snake is a dead snake a dead snake's a good snake so but this was a poisonous snake and i've not shot my gun in a long long time at least aim to really have to kill something shoot <laughs> so, I, I, I shocked myself. I couldn't hear for about 20, 30 minutes because I completely went deep. Got in here, went and got my pistol. It's about 
15, 20 feet away from him. Blew his head clean off. I'm like, I forgot how good I am at shooting. So, um, I actually forgot how good I was at shooting a gun and how good at an aim I was. So, he slung out there in the fire pit. That way over there. So, um, did that and went, and then went deep for about 20 minutes. Could not hear. Literally went deep. But I was proud of myself. I remembered how to shoot a gun, aim, and actually hit the mark. So, didn't have to worry about him coming after me. I, I took him out. Literally, one shot took him out. Um, other than that, I'm going to wrap this up because I, my mind is still scattered brain because I had therapy yesterday. And between therapy and then getting my hair done, I just had to get, I had to wait 24 hours to oh, finally get the toner out of my hair because they'll put a toner in it so it don't go brassy and after they rinse it out they really can't shampoo or condition it because of how much they had to strip my hair and I had to smell toner for 24 hours so I finally got it washed dry and straightened and I'm like okay I don't smell toner no more so which is a lot better so getting out of shower trying to relax um waiting for these storms to come in but I'm going to try and get back on videos and everything and take you guys along with me. It's just, I, I only thing I can update you on is I'm doing my physical therapy for my neck and my lower back. Um, my liver and my kidneys are doing better and so is my GI issues. I will go into more details of what I'm really taking. I'll pull it out and show you guys what I'm taking. It's just today's been a long, over a month since I've posted. So I'm just giving a quick update. Um, and hopefully you give me some ideas of what your line challenge is this month. Cause like I said, I'm not even, I'm not even went there, but hopefully you find your shimmy, your shake, your sprinkle, your sparkle, or your silver lining. Um, my silver lining is I'm somewhat stable. I'm not hundred percent. I'm not even 50%, but I'm a lot stabler than I was, um, over a month ago. So little baby steps and the small little improvements does a big improvement little steps little improvements makes the world a big old bumblebee over above my head makes the world go round other than that guys i love you god bless you're all still in my prayers and i will try and at least get this going get my videos back going at least if it's not just once a week I'll try with once a week and then get back there because being out for so long, I'm going to have to get back in the routine like I used to be of doing videos and taking you along for my day or with me through my day. But um, other than that, guys, I love you and I'm going to let you go. And until next time, which will be next week, I'll get with you. Bye, guys.